Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome. My name is Bradley, also known as the Swim Coach. Today we're going to be looking at the points for game number 11. Um, so we started off and we got 30 points below the average. Um, yes, I had to make a few little transfers uh, because of their injuries and all that lot. And uh, so I was trying to work things out and I went a bit too much, but hey, hey. Uh, so we end up with 30 points and here we go. So Edison, that's just two points. Uh, played 90 minutes, but yeah, conceded in the last few minutes or something like that it was. Uh, ben White got two points, but yeah, to the <sighs> disgrace that that goal should never have been given. Um, so these things do happen. Uh, Trippier giving us the nine points. Um, they keep a clean sheet uh, <clears throat> and then getting a bonus as well. So now Romero got sent off. Not good. Um, so I uh, only played 32 minutes. Um, one point. Four goals conceded, but some of those goals were when he wasn't even on the pitch. Uh, so only just minus two points. Uh, and a silly red card, which was a minus three, giving him minus four points for the game. Not great for us. Midfield. Declan Rice. Just two points. Nothing happened. Saka, same. Two points, but we have a little bit of a knock in ish issue from the Champions League. So we'll see. I probably will still keep him in. Uh, Song only getting two points. Losing. Uh, Bowen gave us seven points. He scored. Uh, they did lose. Which is not good. But yeah, seven points. We'll take that. Salah. Very interesting game against uh, Luton. Luton at, at home have been um, a little bit hard. So I think that's going to be an interesting one there. Uh, but gave us the two points. And then we got our strikers. Uh, only 88 minutes. Two points. Didn't score. Bit of shame. Uh, in the 3-2 win. Um, and then, Ollie Watkinson on the defeat. They're losing. Okay. Uh, played 90 minutes. Just the two points. Um, now, I'd... we can have only gained extra points from Pope. And that was a clean sheet. Um, so there wasn't much that we could have probably ended up what with another four more points. So 34 points, just above the average. So we can take that as a little pinch of salt there. Um, but I think at the moment, we'll see this. Ten person, yeah, of injury. Okay. So at the moment, I think I'm going to probably keep with the same team. Um, but I don't know. I'll have to look into it for neck for uh, the weekend, which I'll be doing later on. Um, but for now, thank you very much. Oh, actually, no. Oh, no. Thank you very much. We've got to go through the results. So, uh, Fulham well, uh, lost 1 0 to Manchester United in the, I think it was like 93rd minute or something like that. Uh, Brentford, I think they came from behind, if I remember rightly, um, to win 3 2. Um, let's just double check all that. I should normally have it on my screen, but I forgot to put it up on my screen. Um, so. So, uh, yep, West Ham. Oh, it was 2-1. They were 2-1 up. Um, so they were lean 2-1 and then lost 3-2. Uh, Palace winning 2-0. Um, so that was a quite interesting one there. Um, Everton drawing against Brighton. Um, Everton scoring quite early on and then Brighton scoring quite late. Now, Man City, bit of a one-sided affair here. Um, winning 6-1. Uh, City did go 5-0 up and then Bournemouth did get their goal and then uh, City scored one late on. And now going into the 
uh, Sheffield United game. Sheffield United is actually winning the first win of the season. Um, and that was a late goal. It was a nine, 90 plus 10 minutes uh, penalty um, after Wolves equalised in the 89th minutes. Two very late goals there. And the disappointment one. Um, Newcastle scoring a massive controversial goal. Was the ball out? You can never tell, so it was a hard one to say. Um, should there have been a foul? Probably. Should there have been an offside? Couldn't tell when, where, when the last contact was, so they couldn't give it. Not enough evidence. Was there a potential handball in there? Maybe. Should Arsenal have been down to 10 men? And should Newcastle have been down to 10 men? Havertz tackle is a 50-50. It's more like a, an orange card than a red card. Uh, but they gave him a yellow. Uh, and Romero didn't even get booked for an elbow on an Arsenal player. Uh, blatant as anything. And didn't even get telling off. So that's a bit of a bad one there. Um, now going into the Sunday games. Um, Sunday games, we had uh, Forrest beating Villa. That was a big shock. Um, and I think it was a goal early on. So it was in the fifth minute, there was a goal. And then in the 47th minute, so two goals straight as the match starts, so or the match starts and then the second half, so Villa lost everything there, and then um, Luton actually were leading after 18 minutes. Um, they and then um, Diaz scored in the 95th. So yeah, Liverpool got got away with that one and a bit lucky there. And then the Monday night football. Um, Spurs, wow. They actually went 1-0 up after six minutes. But then Romero, as we saw earlier, got booked, uh, got sent off, sorry. Um, and then from that resulting penalty, um, Chelsea equalised. And then 10 minutes into the second half, um, Spurs went down to nine men, another red card, two red cards in that game. And then uh, Nicholas Jackson scoring a hat trick, uh, 75th minute, 90 plus four and 90 plus seven. So I think after that, the legs just went from Spurs. They were doing a bit of a high line. So that was it. So that was the end of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys on the next one and have a lovely time. Bye from now.